We'll go ahead and start with Tennessee. Sorry. <laughs> Tennessee uh, ballot measures 2022. Uh, Tennessee does not allow its voters to place initiatives or referendums on the ballot, be they to pass their own laws, repeal laws, or ratify their own amendments to the Tennessee Constitution. Only the legislator can pass laws independent of voter involvement and place initiatives on the ballot using a legislative referred constitutional amendment for voters to ratify amendments into the Tennessee Constitution. So we'll go over the first one and then I think we'll just dive right into call-in actually. So amendment one, the right to work amendment. This one is an important one. A yes vote supported amending the state constitution to add a new section to make it illegal for workplaces to require mandatory labor union membership for employees as a condition for employment. This actually was ratified by 69.79%. Did other states vote on right to work laws? At the time of the election, Ballotpedia had tracked 28 right to work ballot measures appearing on statewide ballots between 1944 and 2018. Of the 28 measures, 18 were constitutional amendments, seven were statutes, and three were referendums on statutes passed by legislature. Out of the 18 constitutional amendments, eight were approved and 10 were defeated. Two statutes were approved and five were defeated. Two of the referendums were approved upholding the right to work law and one was defeated repealing the law. At the time of the election, the last vote on a right to work law was in 2018 in Missouri. Voters defeated Proposition A, which repealed a right to work law passed by the state legislature. The law was repealed with 67.47% of voters rejecting the law and 32.53% of voters deciding to uphold the law. That is interesting. Who supported this? Mainly uh, Republican representatives and senators and organizations, Americans for Tax Reform, to name one of the few. And one of the arguments was the Tennessee right to work law states that workers cannot be fired or hired or in any way discriminated against based on whether or not they are a member of a union. I think that this is an important enough civil right that it belongs in our state constitution. That's interesting. Democrats opposed it. As you can imagine, unions, Tennessee, AFL-CIO. And I wanted to see the campaign. The amount of money spent to support it was over $243,000. And the amount to oppose was over $43,000. All right, this is Amendment 2, Acting Governor Amendment. A yes vote supported amending the state constitution to provide a process along with the line of secession for an acting governor when the governor is unable to perform the office's powers and duties. Who supported this? Mainly Republicans. Uh, one of the arguments was, we certainly hope this is something we will never need, but it's necessary to have a plan in place that secures our democracy in such a crisis. Voting yes on Amendment 2 will strengthen our constitution and our state government by ensuring there is no extended period in Tennessee where it's unclear how executive powers are to be carried out. Well, I guess that's good to know. There was no money spent to support it or oppose it. The next measure is, I don't know, Roger Meadows said, did they not have this before? Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> you would have thought they would have had like a backup plan. Um, Constitutional Amendment 3, remove slavery as punishment for crime from the Constitution Amendment. A yes vote supported amending the state constitution to remove language that allows the use of slavery and involuntary servitude as criminal punishments and replace it with the statement, slavery and involuntary servitude are forever prohibited. Uh, that measure passed by 79.53%. It's kind of shocking that that already hasn't been established. <laughs> Is I know I, I can see some of the comments and some of you guys are like, what the hell? Yeah, it's this past November, Vermont was one of the states that passed 
uh, ballot measure to outlaw slavery. So uh, apparently it's not on the books in some places. Isn't this crazy? Uh, who supported this? Democrats, typically. Um, an organization called Human Rights Campaign Pack. Arguments are voting yes on three is about voting, is about righting a wrong, sorry. We passed Amendment 3, will remove slavery as a punishment from the Constitution of the state of Tennessee. The whole campaign is about common sense and compassion, and this is another element of that campaign. Let's make sure we go out and vote yes on Amendment 3. And opposition, Republicans opposed it. This is crazy. It says Tennessee's constitution has expressly prohibited slavery since it was first adopted in 1870. So it's unnecessary to add this amendment to the constitution. It will only confuse Tennessee voters by leading them to believe slavery is allowed under the current constitution, which it is not. Bruh. Why didn't you guys have this resolved already? Uh, there was over $200,000 spent to support it. No money spent to oppose it. And the last one, oh, Roger said one of two red states, Utah in 2018, and one of four total that got to the left of a lot of blue states on closing the loophole of the 13th Amendment regarding imprisonment. Yep. Vermont and Oregon, only blue states that closed the loophole. Yeah, that's crazy. It, it's just crazy that that wasn't taken care of. And the last measure is Constitutional Amendment 3, remove religious minister disqualification amendment. A yes vote supported repealing section, section 1, excuse me, section 1, section 1 of Article 6, I want to say. That's 6. I'm not that great with my Roman numerals. I think that is six of the Tennessee constitution, which stated that religious ministers were disqualified from being elected to the state general assembly. Why were clergy banned from serving in public office? The practice of prohibiting clergy from serving in public office came from English law to prevent dual office holding as well as preventing and diminishment of independence of the House of Commons by the Crown, since ministers in England were subject to the powers of the Crown. The practice carried over the United States as 13 states initially established this ban in their constitutions. There was some disagreement among the founding fathers regarding this ban on clergy serving in public office. While some, like uh, Thomas Jefferson, wanted to clearly establish a separation between church and state, Others like James Madison believe that it violated a fundamental principle of liberty by punishing a religious profession with the uh, privation of a civil right. And so it is ratified by 63.24%. That's interesting. Who supported it? So there was one Republican and two Democrats who supported it. The argument was, I think that the clergy are the proper people to serve constituents across the state of Tennessee, because I think we certainly, they will certainly stick as close to what's right, fair, and equal in all situations. That's interesting. And there was uh, no one that opposed that measure. Interesting. Interesting. 